what is beer belly, visceral fat, and how to lose belly fat. Before we talk about beer belly and visceral fat, what is fat? By Google definition, fat is a natural oily or greasy substance occurring in an animal bodies that can be found in a layer under the skin or around certain organs. For our body, it is a love and hate relationship with fat. Dietary fats are essential to give your body energy and to support cell growth, nutrients, and hormones. They also help protect your organs and help keep your body warm. Your body definitely needs fat, but too much of it, it is not a good thing for your body either. Does drinking a lot of beer increase the chance of getting beer belly, aka belly fat? Short answer is yes. Alcoholic drinks such as beers increases the risk of belly fat because the liver prioritizes burning alcohol before metabolizing fat. Ever hear beers are empty calories? Do you know why they are called that? The reason is the beer does not contain fiber, vitamins, or minerals that you need to feel satisfied like other foods. This empty feeling will then lead to excess calorie consumption and fat gain through snacks like potato chips, pizza, or munchies that are often paired with beer. Drinking beer does not mean you will automatically have belly fat. Research studies suggest that belly fat is related to serving sizes. Both cans and bottled beer average around 12 ounces, while your average glass of wine contains about 5 ounces, and your average shot glass just 1.5 ounces. So the more you drink, the more calories intake your body will get. Due to lower content of alcohol percentage in beer compared to wine and hot liquor, on average, most people tend to drink more beers because it takes them longer to be buzzed or drunk, which means more calorie intake. Research suggests that visceral fat or belly fat is highly active metabolically different from other types of fat. The difference that scientists and doctors notice is that this visceral fat may promote insulin resistance, which is a state where your blood sugar rises and there's a high risk of diabetes. Beer belly, or by a short definition, is a large midsection, whether it is from beer or other high calorie foods, is associated with an increased risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. Why all my fats go to my belly? This concept that all excess calories and fats usually end in the belly first is not entirely true. According to research studies, where your body stores fat is influenced by your sex, gender, age, lifestyle, and genetics. Men tend to store fat in their belly first, while women tend to store fat around their hips, butts, thighs, and of course the belly too, but usually less than men in calorie counts. Another important fact to take note is that a decline in hormone levels with age increase can also increase the likelihood of storing belly fat in both men and women. Health risk of belly fat or beer belly? Unlike subcutaneous fat, which is found under the skin, visceral fat is found between your organs. When it comes to beer belly, visceral fat is the one you have to watch out for. The reason is that visceral fat increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, high cholesterol, and insulin resistance, which you already know that are not good for you in the long run. So how can you lose that beer belly fast? Here is a tough reality that you might not want to hear. You can lose that stubborn beer belly, but there is no shortcut that will make it magically disappear in a few weeks. Based on research studies, an effective way to lose belly fat is putting the fat to good use by fueling those cardiovascular and resistant exercises that you know you should do but been slacking on. You probably have already heard or know that giving up beers or cutting back on drinking while replacing high calories food with whole foods and vegetables will help with your weight loss diet. Cardio resistant weight training and good diets will definitely help you lose weight overall, but it will take time to lose your stubborn beer belly. However, visceral fat, the fats found between your organs will take a longer time to get rid of than subcutaneous fat that is found under your skin. Remember that ab exercise will help you develop those ab muscles, but they will not help you get rid of beer belly fat efficiently. What you're really doing is creating abs under all those fat in your belly. So yeah, it is not very productive. The short reality truth is that high calories out and low calorie in is the best way to lose your belly fat. Good luck with building a stronger and healthier body.